Hey guys, Cool Blonde Wave back. I'm Eric. I'm Rick. Eric. And we are back with Cobra Kai after previously winning the tournament and bringing a man back from the dead because that's what happened when you win tournaments. Yeah, that's what happened when John creases. I can't believe that. The, Even the genie can't do that, Eric. I can't believe that events take place after winning a tournament. It's great. Yeah, <laughs> I, I kind of wanted it to just like... Miguel wins! It's like, yeah! And it just cuts. And then, like, this starts and it just ends the first season. <laughs> yeah. I love uh, picturing Crease like Shredder from Terminator's... T or, uh, from, Turtles from Turtles 2. 2. Where, face. like, he wins the tournament and all of a sudden this fist just pops up. Oh, that's great. Yeah, what is going to happen? So Daniel has opened up his school... Um, at Miyagi's actual house, which I'm assuming Miyagi like yeah, had two him. students, his daughter and Robbie. Yeah. Yeah. She did a flip punch that she... Yeah, she looked cool. So we got that going on. We have Johnny, who uh, seemed to have, you know, he got everything he wanted, right? He won the All-Valley Tournament, but he's sad. And this is the first episode of the new season, which oh, you can actually is. watch these now over on Netflix. Uh, and if you have a Netflix account, what you can do is you can sync up our full-length reaction, the link which is down in the description and the pinned comment right now. You can sync that up with the Season 2 premiere. Watch the entire episode with us. Try that out, and it is something that we offer to our full-length patrons over at patreon.com slash blindwave. It's a fantastic way to support us, and you get to watch full-length on literally everything that we do, including movies. That's a big deal. And all the past. Yep. Most of the past. Most of it. All the past that we had. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, you guys ready to start Season 2, Cobra Kai? Guy. Fight him. I thought you were dead. You ain't the only one, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I've been away a long, long time. They love this shot, don't they? It's a good shot. It's good to see you. Fuck no. Yeah, fuck no. You still got that hot temper, huh? Last time you saw him. Oh, shit! Ah! You forgot. I taught you everything you know. He's fighting with a cigar in his hand. Oh! He just kicked the cigar. Oh no! 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 We're gonna burn this place down! <laughs> Not bad, Mr. He's got insurance, though. Not bad. Did he? Did he finish his He had to! He's fighting this old master. There's nothing by that idea. He's amazing! Second place trophy. Choked him out. He tried to kill me. I never tried to kill you. No! The fake fire! Oh, doing what he did oh, to you. Remember when you did this to me? Slither. Look, you look what you are. Now who's a loser? Let's get shot. Showing mercy to an old man. It's very honorable. Watch your dick. Kicking the ball. Watch your dick. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Well, the fire ain't getting put out at least. No, it's not. Look at it. It's a little. <laughs> it's not hidden. I think you'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> you might have a little bit of damage. You can train with Robbie. Still chores, or is there any actual? <laughs> the chores are part of it. So you start with different. I'll stick with him. <laughs> I love the door on there. Fridge. Sure that you can see through. Yeah. You just love looking at the yeah, food. Yeah. I, 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 I have a door like that. James yeah. just finds you just stare. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I hate when you guess correctly. Who could it be now? Spingel. They live in the same place with a mom. Could it be knocking at my door? Please be Terry Silver. Please be Terry Silver. Please be Terry Silver. No, You've Rick. No. Ruined this for me now. He, <laughs> Terry Silver. They don't even have an affiliation. Congratulations, Sensei. Yeah, the mom. Thanks. Thank you, man. What do you make? What do you make? What, what is it? It was really is good. It's a cake. What's it called again? Tres leches. Tres leches. Love tres leches. That's good. I love that pancake. Did you snap and... <laughs> Miguel's a good kid. I won't let him go astray. 
Was a good kid. Good, good. Please don't. But you Don better Kreese keep will. this promise. If you don't keep this promise, I'm done. John Kreese got sued for copyright. Copyright? Yeah. What? That was his Cobra Kai dojo. Hear me out. Smitty's daughter. Petey. <sighs> Smitty's. They're both named Johnny. I realized that in, in the oh, third yeah. movie, too, yeah. where he's like, Johnny! Yeah. And I'm like, fuck, they're both Johnnies. I gotta say, it's nice to be at a victory party. Yeah, except you had nothing to do with the victory. Exactly. You took the notches from him. Exactly, you should. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna do that to me. You're gonna get your fucking fingers bit off. Young Mitri and Eli, binary brothers. <laughs> Fooled with the nerd shit, huh? Hey, where's Miguel? It's been they liked it. He's such an asshole. I used to like Hawk. I thought it was so bad as he showed up. He's like, yeah, it's so cool. Now he's just like, he's a jerk. You're the champ now. You can get any chick in the valley you want. You like Drake? <laughs> You're like Drake. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to be Drake. Don't worry, you're not. Yeah, the only kid with a punk mohawk has ever said, You're like Drake! In a nice way. Whoa, <laughs> look at this diner. Of course, this is where Chris has been. He's been here for the last 30 years. Look at the waitresses. I don't even think in the 80s they wore that, did they? Their names are Flo, all of them. Huh? I mean, this is like a 50s diner, right? Yeah. It's Brumation. The snake buries himself in the hole. The only difference is, the snake doesn't sleep. He stays awake. All winter. What? Waiting for the right moment to emerge. And that moment is now. He's been in brumation? Is that what he's saying? What was it? It's a Cobra Kai. The world may need Cobra Kai, but we don't need you. <sighs> See, you guys said he was gonna fucking fall back to him. Season shit. Episode one. Episode one, one Shit, shit. You guys are saying? Episode one. He realized how rich his friend is that he could help. Rich? He's probably dead. He's got plutonium. No one dies. He died from radiation. Yeah, he's the only one that's died. Also, you don't bring him in just to have him say no, and he never comes back. Yep. <gasps> Holy <gasps> shit, man. Careful. That drum saved my life. Da, 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 da. <laughs> that lesson just to hit over and over again. <laughs> Well, there's the dodging in the note, too. First rule of Miyagi-Do Karate. Karate is for defense only. Remember the second rule? Yeah, see first rule. <laughs> second rule of Miyagi-Do Karate. Fast and rule number one. <laughs> really all about that first rule. <laughs> Scooter boys. Scoot, scoot. All right, task me just do it. Sorry about that. I'll get the door. So you guys want to be Cobra Kai, huh? <laughs> you got a long road ahead. Why'd you do that? <laughs> I didn't do anything. <gasps> Why'd you do that? Go ahead. Go ahead. The dojo's closed to new students today. We just wanted to sign up after we saw the tournament. Why do you need to say it again? Is that the ultimate yeah. warrior, Rick? Shirt? Sure. Sensei. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. This is WWE. Let's go, Luke. That's a fantastic shirt. D is Hawk up front. Turn this franchise Hawk. around. Did you attack your opponent when his back was turned? Yes, Sensei. D is. Did you purposely attack your opponent's injury? Yes, Sensei. I think that makes you badass. Two cobras in the jungle. One kills the strongest lion. The other kills a crippled monkey. Which cobra do you want to be? The one that kills the lion, Sensei. And why is that? Because it killed a stronger animal. Correct! I love this. Cobra Kai <laughs> is about being badass. And the baddest badass is the one who beats his opponent when he's at his strongest. Not when his back is turned. Goku would make a great cobra. Not when he's injured. <laughs> he throws sensor understood? beans and everything. Yes, Sensei. All right. Glad for the scene. There's no more cheating. Yeah. No more fighting dirty. From here on out, those are pussy moves. <laughs> exactly. You don't want to be pussies, do you? No, no Sensei. <laughs> Good. 
I had you wear your white belts. We're starting over. Uh, Dia, talk. 50 push-ups on your knuckles. On your knuckles. It's Robinson. Warm them up. Sensei, can I talk to you about something? What do you want? What was that out there? Punishing us for winning the tournament? I'm teaching you a lesson. Yeah, but what about no mercy? If I'm extra hard on you, it's only because you have the potential to be better than I ever was. You want that, don't you? Yes, Sensei. Oh, come on. Turn his franchise around. Stop whining like a little bitch and get out and finish. Exactly. <laughs> Everything I love, nothing I hate is starting to happen. <laughs> I was thinking maybe we could go on a hike or uh, we could go to the beach club. I'd love to, but the guys and I have to go to Hawk's house to watch some movie called Over the Top. Over the Top, yeah. baby! Never seen it. Do you want to come with? Metallica, you noise. Rock on, man. <laughs> man, the 80s were the best era ever. The best era ever. Right? I mean, I was only like five years old when it happened, but still. <laughs> remember Caddyshack? <laughs> this guy! Yeah, you remember the gopher? He used to dance? The... <laughs> Whatever the noise was. I love that ghost. Just get in the mirror, man. Come on. The Metallica thing was fine. There's a puppet. I don't know. Let me get the lesson here. You're saying that in life, I can't do everything by myself and I have to rely on other people. No. I was just teaching you about Shelby. But if you can bring a metaphor out of that, you're a better student than I am. <laughs> hey, Metallica Man! We got that uh, mirror glass all set for you. So just uh, come on up front, baby. Daniel's being a better father to this kid than he is to his own son. He's failed that one. LaRusso Otto? This guy's a fan of everything. Is... <laughs> hey, look just like him. Is this your son? What? My name's Raymond. Raymond is Go such a share. Give me a second. Oh, for sure. He looks nothing like his son. <laughs> Someone said you're gonna torture me by trading with that prick. Hey, you don't know Mr. Lucero. He is a better man than you will ever be. <sighs> Balance. I hope Daniel helps Robbie find balance to where he talks with his dad, and then maybe Johnny will like go and talk to LaRusso. They're not my enemies, they're my friends. At least they used to be. Thanks for trying to help, Jack. Make Man. it not about fighting, make it about the balance. Wish I went to a high school where there was like a karate war. <laughs> what amazing. <laughs> Ever since the tournament, all I've been thinking about are ways to destroy Cobra Kai. Now you have the answer? Yes. The answer is we won't. Good. I knew you were good. <laughs> I thought you were gonna clap too. You got room for one more? Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm with you too. Yeah. This place is great. Now that you know, Dad. I, mean, I was waiting for you to learn your lesson. Painted and the deck's been sanded. Is any of them off the hook? <laughs> uh, no, we're gonna find something for you to do. Get on over here. <laughs> <laughs> she already knows all the training <laughs> techniques. <laughs> I'm sorry. I realized that I was too hard on you. Just believe me, there ain't nothing I'd like more in this world than to have another chance. I don't trust him, but he wants another chance. I understand if you never want to see me again. Just remember. He wants his son to do for him what he's asking him to do to him. Oh, I almost forgot. You forgot. You brought that in here to give him his trophy. Uh, fixed it. I fixed it for you. I don't see any tape on the leg. It may say second place, but in my opinion, you were always the better fighter. I didn't say anything that whole thing. Said with his face, Eric. Oh, shit, he's gonna light his car on fire. Oh, he's going slow, waiting. Hold up. He's gonna give a silver smile. <sighs> Damn it! <sighs> silver smile, baby. Ah. I thought he was gonna think he's gonna walk out the door. Maybe we wouldn't see him ever again. Which would be good. I don't trust Crease. Like Rick no, said. hell no. Rick, do you trust Crease? No. no. See, Eric, you're a fool for trusting no. Crease. No, 
I don't trust Chris. I understand why Johnny might go after him because he's asking his kid to do the same goddamn thing. And if he can't do it for his father figure, then that kid can't do it for him, his father. I heard you say, I trust him. Didn't you, Rick? One of them's Never genuine. The other one just Genuine, wants... that's a rapper. How do you know that? Genuine. That's the one you know? I know genuine. I know things. <laughs> just a one new song with the big butts. <sighs> so, yeah, yeah. I didn't know, when I was getting these uh, the episodes uh, ready for us, I didn't see that the finale was Mercy, the title, and this one was Mercy Part 2. I was really expecting, like, a straight up, they were going to end right at the end of the last episode with the fight, and then go into the Part 2. Man, I was, but, I was hoping for that. It would have been good. <laughs> it would have been so good. So, but, I, I mean, now I see Mercy Part 1 and Mercy Part 2 is the redefinition of Mercy No Mercy thing, where he's like, it's not about, you know... What's the exact word he used? He's like, it's, you know, I fighting like, dirty versus fighting with honor. I, 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 I loved that. He recognized that. I just hope it doesn't get infected with Chris being here. It's going to. I know. No question. <laughs> that is what's happening. But I love Johnny, like, recognizing all the flaws, you know? And then I, what he said in this episode is what I fucking said last the last reaction. I was like, dude, it's nothing. Here, that's a pussy move. Yeah. And I loved yeah, it. it. I loved it so much. I, I agree. It was, this was like... My blade. All the strength, none of the weaknesses. <laughs> blade? Yeah, the vampire hunter. Because he's not weak. Okay. Son, like, I, yeah, I was thinking of the movie. He's all of our strengths, none of our weaknesses. I was thinking like, blade, movie. And, like yeah. the first one and the second one? What are you talking about? Yeah. I see. Yeah, remember when fucking Frost is like, blade, all of our strengths, none of our weaknesses. That's not very fair. Who's Frost? The bad guy. That's that, his name. Yeah, the bad guy. Frost. Yeah, I remember shit, man. I don't, I don't remember the movie. I know but... rapper names. I know Blade references. Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> I can't remember that guy's name. That's this shit. No, the, the bringing him up and having him in front of the class, too, to be like, look, this is not, you know, the, 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 the way you were fighting. Like, yeah. Would you rather... The lion thing. The lion and the crippled monkey. Yeah. It was a good analogy. Really good. And the way he did it was a way of being like, look, no mercy? Sure. That's going to be our motto. But there's also what's a stronger snake, you know? And, and like... This one, sure, he killed a monkey. Good job, no mercy. Yeah. But would you rather be that one who just killed this crippled monkey, or yeah. would you be the one that took out a fucking lion? He's like, fuck yeah, be the one that saves the, saves the fight your guys. Yeah. yeah. Especially in a tournament. Like, if it's on the street, fucking, like, someone's yeah. coming at you to kill you, whatever, yeah. just fucking no mercy, you take him out, you do it, you I know? know? It, like, it, it's a different. But when you're in a tournament, it's for points. Yeah. Like, you want to win against the strongest and be like, look at me, look how strong I am. Not it like, is straight up the turtle school Goku has gone to all these years in Dragon Ball Z. He gave fucking... Uh, how far are you in Dragon Ball? So, but, I mean, you can spoil it. And he gives fucking sins of beans to fucking people that he should not. He should kill them because they're going to blow up the world. But he's like, no, I need to fight them if they're strongest. Sins of bean, you know? It's the best. That's what he's doing. Fight them at their best. The best. Yeah. Stupid. It's amazing. That's the street version of it. It's always about. worked out. In a tournament format... That's the one I mean where it's like, hey, don't be this can't be with a max. But when they're going to destroy the world, you gouge out their eyes and throw sand. Maybe you have a point, but it's always worked out. Thus, you don't. <laughs> but, no, the line he had was that, it was when Miguel came in, was yeah. being like, I didn't always see the difference between mercy and honor. Mm -hmm. So I, I like I like that look. And I like that Miguel eventually was open to it as well. Yeah, and I'm also glad that Daniel... From what the thing Robbie said, yeah. and from what Sam said, and focusing with his meditation mm -hmm. and stuff, like and you're right, that is the thing he was doing when he broke the ice. Yeah, in two, part two. Well, he was doing that. I'm like, I know this. He did it yeah. sometime. When did he do it? And it was part yeah. part two. There was the ice, and Mr. Miyagi's like, he, I love when he walks in there. And he's like, hmm, how much money? Yeah, <laughs> you thought he was gonna stop yeah. it from happening? <laughs> he's he's like, gonna bet on a six ice six ice blocks. You know, like three hundred dollars. <laughs> it was great. But yeah, that he finally saw, like, we're not going to fight them. Mm -hmm. We're going to, you know, if you show another way yeah. or, you know, do something and help balance people rather than, all right, we're going to do this so that we can combat. We're going to win like the board by assimilating. Yeah, don't do that. Like, just, just yeah, like, you know, it's just that uh, the whole, like, the strategy of, like, you know what? I'm going to change that person and then we'll be happy. It never works out in relationships. So we'll see how it works out here. Yeah, Which just, person? Yeah, you just buy him a fridge to distract him. My fucking fridge beeps when it's open too long. And JT's like, I can hear you! Because it beeps on her phone. I'm like, damn it! I know you're in the fridge! 
You need one of those fridges that have the glass on the door so you can see, see inside. My fridge does have that. You can open the door just like normal, but you can press a button and open the door and it opens up half of the door and you can grab stuff like that, but it's not like a clear one. Uh, we were thinking about getting the clear one, but they don't cook cool as well. Because the it's not that line. It's you know? glass. Yeah, it's glass You're right there. Through. But it's kind of cool, though, you know? It's just that you have to have the fucking light on all the time. Do you? Maybe you can push a button oh, turn on and off. How would you know? If, I mean, you know, unless there's a window there, you know? I mean, how would you know? A you push a button device? to turn it off. I mean, how would you know? You're wasting so much energy. Just push the button and turn it off. <laughs> Wait, I don't understand. It's like the sauna. The sauna has a button. You push it and you turn it on. Yeah. You push it you turn it off. Uh, so I'll, what is rule number two? Rule number two is remember rule number one. No, because Miyagi was like, you need to rule, learn rule number one before we, we yeah. learn rule number two. Rule number two. And you never learned rule number one. And rule you can't read two. Japanese. Yeah. So rule number two. No idea. Learn rule number one first, was what Mr. Miyagi said. Yeah. But rule number two could be learn rule number one. Yeah. I don't think it is, though. It might not be, but it's possible. I, I want someone to translate for us like what that rule is. I think it's karate is in self defense. That's it. I think it's supposed to be. I think yeah. it's supposed to be the idea is that only use karate for self defense. All right. Rule number two. Let's just see, see rule number one. I'm not only it's going to be like do household chores to be stronger. Yeah. I don't think there's any other rules. The idea was just like well, I mean, karate for defense. Rule number two could be like balance is life or something. It's not a rule. Why not? <laughs> it's just not. self defense. I don't know. You must find balance in all things. Like, that could be rule number two. That's not a rule. Could be. It's like a, it's like a metaphor. It's not a metaphor. An analogy. No. An anachronism. No. Something. <laughs> An anachronism? <laughs> An idiom, maybe? <laughs> Alliter yeah. Alliteration. So, Sam and uh, Robbie are going to be... Together a lot over the summer. Together. Close proximity. Together. Together. Very physical. Yeah. Together, what do you say? Everyone together. I think her and Robbie's gonna get back together. Mm. Back together? They weren't together before. Miguel. Damn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, you know, as much as I'm like, yeah, Chris is gonna, he's gonna fuck him over somehow, like, you know, because of the whole, like, the brumation. He's just waiting for his moment now, you know? Yep. Again. But I actually did actually kind of like and buy, like, look. I see some shit in my life, you know, when he was in Vietnam and all that stuff, sure. like, it made me a hard person, you know? I was like, you know what? I can see that, you know? But then he fucking turns around and like, <laughs> just like fucking Duke Silver. What's his name? Terry. Terry. Duke? Yeah. <laughs> it's from, you know who Duke Silver is? I mean, I, I can get, like, being hard on him. Yeah. But, like, killing him after that tournament. He I wasn't going to kill him. He's just going to choke him out a little. Well, we, we never know, because Miyagi stopped him. I'm, I liked uh, I liked the Trace Leche's cake scene yeah. with the mom, mm. where like she was talking about like what she saw on his face, yeah. and like that's just a game face, right? And like she's like kind of talking to him about yeah. like how she's worried about it because mm. she was worried before, but like yeah. I, I like that he's like you know I'm not gonna let him go astray, mm. and it, it kind of makes me think like you know like Johnny Johnny was having problems, he was, you know the scene with the flashback where that was okay, like I like what they were doing because they had like yeah. Crease voicing it, but obviously it was older Crease voicing it. So it sounded like Crease, but old Crease, not young Crease. But anyway, like having that whole thing with like the Sid and the tears mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff, like, you know, I, 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 it makes me wonder like if Johnny would have had, like did his mom ever show up and yeah. say, hey, you know, here's what I, I like with this, but you know, I'm seeing this, sure. you know? So I, I, I like, there's lots of similarities. I love all the stuff they're doing with almost every character. There's no characters that I'm like, I hate that asshole, <laughs> except for fucking that one asshole. Which one? Huh? Well, yeah, I don't like Kreese. The, the friend? Hawk. Hawk oh, is Hawk? becoming just what? an asshole, man. Dude, last, the finale when they had like a like an eagle screech. You yes, know, I hilarious. know, I know. I love, I love that too. I think He's just been led astray. It's the same reason we like Johnny. It's like he was led astray too. See, I can see various things happening. Uh -huh. Actually, you know what I could see happening? Because mm -hmm. I was thinking about like, uh, the thing like I see is like Miguel goes, he joins Miyagi Do. You have that. You have Hawk being the new badass guy that you got to fight. But I don't want Johnny being in charge of like the actual bad guy Cobra Kai. But maybe you have Johnny leave with Miguel. They all go to Miyagi Do, and, and they're over. all there. Kreese takes over. Now you have jerk yeah. Hawk and fucking Kyler joining in. Kyler, you know. Now you have some bad guys we can fuck up. It'd be great. That's what we do. Okay, I've solved it. There you go. There's my story. Hey, it, it, it. It's the first time I've been wrong, but Sam did not jo join Cobra Kai. Yep. She joined Miyagi. Day you thought she was going to join Cobra Kai? Yeah. yeah, I said that like early on in last season. Yeah. <coughs> because of being Daniel's daughter. Yeah. 
that there's gonna be like a spot. See, what I, what I enjoyed Maybe is the they, sun will jump. Yeah, where does Daniel's yeah. sun go? <laughs> Nowhere. He didn't know anything. <laughs> what I enjoyed was uh, one of the weaknesses from the movies, which is like they just kept doing a new love interest all the time. They turned it into like a lesson. Like you never even know when you're gonna find the one, you know? Because he had so many of the ones. Well, you thought he was talking about Allie. You know? Yeah, I did. He's talking about one before Allie. No, he's talking about Judy. Judy. Then we had Allie, then we had the, the uh, Okinawa, then we had the, the Pottery Girl. Jessica. And then somehow he found the best of all, Man. His, his current wife. Yeah, but she's not right. She's great. Quit dehumanizing people because of the color of their hair, Aaron. I didn't dehumanize. Oh, wait, She's no, still no. human. <laughs> You're just less of one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank guys for watching this episode of Cobra Kai. You can check out the next one right now over at patreon.com slash blindwave. Full length is available there too. Also check out twitch.tv slash blindwave. We play video games all the time. So often. It's so great. We love it. Yeah. Check it out. At least the podcast on Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.